hello everyone and welcome back to java one for all in this video we are going to get just a little introduction of this amazing IDE IntelliJ community so I uh, just did a quick uh, change here so you guys can see what I'm doing uh, I just clicked over configure then settings uh, and appearance I changed uh, the font size to 20 and on editor font I changed to 22 you don't have to do that but if you are feeling that's way too small you can change these two configurations so the font size is what is written inside the code and the appearance here are the, the menu itself okay now let's click in new project and you can see here in this uh, small window that the project SDK uh, it's selected and that's because we properly configured the Java home. So remember that I said that there are some applications that are expecting the Java home to be there. IntelliJ is one of them. And Maven is also another one. So just uh, click next. Next. Um, I will give the name here one for all. So some honestly this is one part of uh, the java community that's kind of the conventions is not properly applied uh, some people they use uh, kmok some people they use dashes uh, honestly all the companies that have been working they, they use dashes so i will just go with dashes and then you can click on finish so there are some experimental feature uh, remember that i said uh, Java 11 is the long-term support, but all the other versions, they are kind of uh, trying some new features that can be added to the language itself. So uh, let's just accept this one. Click uh, over accept. And as you can see, this is the first uh, page when we create a new project. On the left side, you can see here that we have the, the project window. And if by any chance you just uh, close it for example if you click here you can uh, just click over project again and key promoter is kicking in saying that you can press out one uh, so I will start a new plugin that will make uh, things easier for you guys watching this video I will go in the settings uh, plugins and then on marketplace I will search for uh, presentation assistant So what this is doing, if I press any shortcut, it will show up here. So you can follow along uh, and learn new shortcuts. But if I don't, you have Key Promoter that will tell you what it should have been done. Okay, so this is the IntelliJ idea. You can see here that we have a, a project structure. If by any chance you would like to check the Explorer, just right click and go over Show an Explorer. And you can see the project itself. So we have two folders here, .idea and uh, java one for all .iml. So these files you can see here, they are just IntelliJ configuration. You can uh, see them if you double click and you can close here. But uh, you don't have to worry. What matters for you is the SRC source. And the external library is all the external libraries being used in your project in this case. We only have Java. So let's create a new Java class. Uh, there are a couple options. Right click, new Java class, or as a good developer that you are because you are watching Dev Dojo, out, insert, and then press enter. And then we can type uh, hello Dev Dojo. So there are a couple of things uh, going on here. As you can see, we automatically have public class created for us. And by default, the name of the file, as you can see here, is exactly the same as the name of the class. If I right click and then go shown in Explorer, you will see somewhere, not here, somewhere here, that we have inside the Java one for all the package the folder SRC and then the file that we just created 
Now, another interesting thing is that we do have some patterns. Can you see that it was already probably configured? We have here the curly braces and it's closing here. And now if I press enter, we do have already some spaces. Remember the space we had to use uh, manually notepad. We do have now four spaces. So this is totally configurable. Uh, some companies, they have their own style that they give kind of a file and all the developers they should use. So you are going to avoid having problems uh, because different developers, they have different styles. Some companies, they use two spaces. Uh, some companies, they use four spaces. So I would just go with the default that IntelliJ is uh, using with four spaces. And I will start typing. And another thing really useful. IntelliJ has something called, and other, develop, uh, other IDs as well, called IntelliSense. And it will tell you probably what you are looking for. I don't know if you noticed, uh, but the, the, some words, they are blue. These words in blue, they are reserved words. They are keywords that Java took for itself and said, and said you cannot use as identifier. How many do we have? I think over 50. So if we go here, for example, on Wikipedia, there are a list of all the Java keywords. So do you have to remember all of them? Uh, honestly, only if you're trying to get the OCP uh, certification exam, the Oracle Certified Programmer, because uh, on daily basis, you are going to use so much that you are probably going to remember. Not uh, at the point where you can tell each one of them from memory, but you will know when you see it. And of course, the IDE will tell us by having it in a different color. So. Same, static, void, as you can see, I'm not even typing everything, I'm just pressing enter, main, okay, main didn't help, but uh, we can type in now string, and then remember the brackets, args, and do you realize that we have some red uh, kind of uh, thing here? And this happens because the idea, IntelliJ idea and other uh, IDs, they are always kind of compiling your code behind the scenes to tell you that something is not going to work even if you try to run. So when we see this, we have a compilation error. So if we try to run, we are going to see later, it will not work. So we know in advance. So what I'm going to do, just uh, add curly braces and boom. As you can see here that we already have everything properly structured using the correct spaces and we can start uh, typing again for spaces system out oops print ln and by default just press enter i do have the parentheses and the semicolon and i will just add here the famous hello world from Dev Dojo. Now, you can uh, notice that we do have some keyword spelling by default. Uh, I think IntelliJ has support for different languages than English. That it will tell you, for example, if you have a, a misspelling, it will help you. So. How can we run this program? Remember that in the, the previous videos, we had to manually compile and then execute. Well, we can still do exactly like that. Do you see over here, build? And you can build the project. It's going to tell me that I could have pressed Control F9. And by doing this, you can see nothing happened. We don't have any errors and we have a new folder here out. You can delete this folder, it's not a problem because what matters is your source code. So I can compile again, control F9, just take a look here, out, and inside we have hello class. So if we open, boom, it's going to tell you that we uh, have to accept that we are decompiling. There are some rules because sometimes you, you get libraries from third parties and kind of you are checking their source code, which is uh, sometimes can cause you violation of applicable laws. But in our case, we can accept. And here we go. 
we do have our source code. This is the dot class file being decompiled. So what we are going to do now, we are going to rely on IntelliJ. We are not going to do all of this building process manually. We are going to just execute. And you can see here that we have the play button that we can either press Control Shift F10 or click here in this button. So I will press Control Shift F10. And then we have here a terminal window. So you can see we have the run and we have the response. We also have like a CMD, like a Windows uh, like uh, terminal here. Actually, it's not Windows like, it's like the Windows uh, terminal, but inside IntelliJ. So, what else can we do that's interesting for us? I think besides the part where they are going to tell you what you are trying to do, the, the words and sometimes the, the method calls, what we are going, something that we are going to see, is that it's always compiling behind the scenes. Can you, did you notice that I didn't save uh, at all? Uh, and that's because IntelliJ and not all IDs uh, are exact like that. They auto save for you. So everything that I do, it will be constantly saving. And it's behind the scenes also constantly compiling to check if you have any problems in your code. So as you can see here, we do have some red uh, part that means compilation error. Even if I try to run pressing Ctrl Shift F10, it will give me an error. So when you see something like this in your code, you can check here, either here or here. You will see everywhere that something's wrong. You don't have to try because you have to fix first before you try to run. And then uh, if you just hover over, you have the error. And uh, if you uh, it didn't work, Sometimes uh, you can press like F1 and it will give you more help. But I think this case is so basic that we don't have any help at all. So this is kind of the, just the introduction of this idea. Um, if you, by any chance, you close your project, for example, close project, you can just uh, double click over it again and boom, you have it uh, again. So I think that's enough information. This is just the hello world. In the next video, we are going to actually start properly with our course. So I'm excited. I hope you are as well. See you in the next video. Bye.